Hey guys, what is up? It is Chris from Gentleman's Gaming, and I'm bringing you a playthrough of probably one of my top games of 2014, Wolfenstein The New Order. So, originally I was supposed to be playing this game with Mike, um, his kind of break, or winter break, was over for college, so um, we're going to start a playthrough and uh, see how we do. I'm not going to do something uh, kind of daring, I'm not going to pick like Uber or I Am Death Incarnate, I'm probably just going to set it on a medium setting. And uh, let's see how we do. So, um, I've already played through this once, and uh, I gotta admit, it was, uh, I loved every second of it. Yeah. A dog. And I see someone. I think I see someone. These things. Those lighting effects, though. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit uh, bad. I'm kind of sick with the flu at the moment, and I literally feel like crap, so I'm sorry if I cough or sniff a lot during this commentary. I've been sick for like two and a half weeks now, so it's been pretty bad. So, uh, let's see what we gotta do here. So, we have to go clamp the fuel lines, it seems. Yeah, that is, uh, that's not good. Okay. Open it, damn it. We'll use that. And pliers. Oh shit. That's fire. My arm's on fire now. Okay. Yes, goddamn indeed. You almost set yourself on fire. Especially with jet fuel. That shit should have burned your clothes off. That stuff burns hella hot. Goddamn, we get a shit ton of stuff. But, but all of all of the ammo, it could be used to kill Nazis. Why are we dumping it? Okay, we could at least save one of these crates. We could like the car would be something we drop. We didn't have to drop all of that. That's so stupid. No, we're not. It's a load of horse shit. Oh well, I will take his word. Ooh, what's in here? Ooh, armor. Especially for later. But, um, throughout this playthrough, I'm definitely going to be doing, uh, a little bit more stealthily when I did my, uh, ooh, shit. Fucking hell. No, a fucking piece of the plane just came up and said hello to me. Um, but I'm definitely going to play a little bit more stealthily than I did my first playthrough. First playthrough, I kind of went a little bit more run and gun instead of doing the whole, oh shit, fucking hell, uh, doing the whole stealth thing, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, oh, fucking hell. Dude, Nazis, uh, Nazis have upped their arsenal, uh, since, uh, since last time. Um, if you guys don't know what this game is, uh, this is kind of a take on alternate history, World War II. Um, I'm just going to spoil it because it happens in the next couple of playthroughs, but pretty much um, the Nazis won World War II, and um, I won't spoil all of it, but they pretty much used the knowledge that they used to win against the Americans and the French and the British to kind of conquer the world. And it's actually, some of the stuff is pretty scary. Like, uh, later on in the game where you see Burr, oh, fucking, okay. I'm no, like, I don't even know what to say, like, what person would be able to study that, but I think I should have died then. But, um, yeah, some of the cities, it's very eerie to see, uh, them transformed, like, uh, I won't spoil everything, but we go to London and Berlin, and it's, it's scary, to be honest. I'm like, I'm glad we stopped the Nazis in World War II, but, um... Shit. Thank you. 
Lol. Uh, huh? What do I have to do? Oh, wait. Is that it? There we go. Much obliged, Captain. Yes, you're welcome for me simply pulling a lever. This is not safe whatsoever. No shit, Sherlock. Good job, Wyatt. You're not a total fuck up. Okay, Private Wyatt. I need you to do one more thing for me. Sir! Have a man ready by the side door. You are getting visitors. Roger that, sir! Sounds awesome. Jump onto a plane that already has two engines down, while ours is perfectly fine. Sounds good to me. Oh, our engine's down too. Lol? Uh, I'm not 100% sure how physics works, but I'm pretty sure- Oh, fucking hell! Dude, I literally dodged so much debris in this shit that I literally am Jesus. And again, like I said, I'm not a physicist, but I'm pretty sure that's impossible. Oh, literally, we're dodging so much shit. Thank you, Wyatt. Again, you're not a total fuck up. Oh, wait, that's not Wyatt. Calm down, man. It'll all be over soon. Wyatt, shut the fuck up! Wyatt, shut the fuck up. Do I have to bitch slap you? Please tell me I do. Please tell me I do. Yes! That's right, you deserve that bitch slap, Wyatt. I completely said his name wrong. Yeah, like I was saying with this entire storyline, it's pretty interesting how uh, we go to all the uh, different types of cities and stuff like that. Pretty much all of Europe has been transformed into kind of like the Nazi state. It's just kind of like, it's fascinating, I find it. Like, not in somewhat of a good way. I'm fascinated in, like, how the entire story played out. Like, later on, you find out how they actually won. Um, but... Um, Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking... Like, this is some of the technology I was talking about. Like, they got fucking, like, metal dogs, and, like, you s I'll sh uh, it shows it up to the right. Um... Uh... If it shows... No. Can't get up there? What do I have to do? What the fuck? What does I have to do? I completely forget this part because it was kind of weird how it kind of worked out. Anyone, do you read me oh wait. Oh, he's dead. 
Um, hello? What the fuck do I do? Uh, I'm a little confused at the moment. Uh, oh wait, it's the fo- Ah, yep, yeah, it's the home. Fergus, what's your status? Top Lovegood. We've got the skitters and bad ways over here. Trapped inside an aircraft crew. Some kind of armored hellbeast is trying to fucking eat us. No joke. I got the same problem here. Shacked up inside the dead room. Yeah, like that it's shit. It's fucking it's insane. Bloodgood, can you see the light? Turn off the light, turn it off. Yes, sir. Nice. I see you. What can I do for you? We can't get to it from out of position. I'm only fucking trapped in here. But if you can access a cockpit turret on this here aircraft, you might be able to kill the beast. Regular small arm sure don't work for bug at all. Hey, perhaps you can swim here. Just keep your head down below the surface. You should be alright. Good plan, nice. Fergus. Coming to you. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, oh shit. You're not eating me today, bitch. I think I have to run up to it. Oop, oh, there we go. All this ammo and health. It's a pretty immersive story, and you go all over the place, and some of the stuff is, as I said, kind of amazing. Like, uh, I'm not going to spoil it, because we will visit it sometime during this playthrough, but uh, we, do leave, uh, we do leave Earth. I'll just say that for now. And uh, just the entire story. Like, pretty much what this is, it kind of launches off the original Wolfenstein games, where it's... Where it, whoa, oh, shit... Fucking hell. Um, kind of like the old Wolfenstein games were back history of World War II, while this is alternate history. So, kind of leaps off the old ones and uh, says the Nazis won. So, I think the game in general is an amazing... Like I said, I had it in my top five games of the year. We had it in our top five channel games of the year. And just the entire narrative and gameplay aspect of it is it's just very immersive and just the mechanics of it are pretty spectacular. So let's see if we can help our friends. Run! Alright, listen up. There's a high powered machine gun nest in those trenches over there. We cannot advance the unit without being slaughtered. So, I want you to make your way over into those trenches and take the next really surprise we're in open cover right now why didn't the machine gun not see us we'll lay down cover fire from here got it uh, put this on our radio updates from our position right lads we ready to lay down suppressor fire so uh i think this would be a good place to start uh to start to stop we're just about to go into the uh, trenches um of the baltic so uh Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, there's going to be tons of more episodes. I definitely want to do a full playthrough of this game. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. Um, this game is probably one of my favorites of this year. And uh, yeah, I want to do a full playthrough for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.